OpenAI just launched text-to-speech API. This is super exciting and we're going to see how you can use this in the no-code way using BuildShip. All right, let's create a workflow, give it a name, and let's add a API trigger. This is the starting point for your workflow. Let's give this endpoint a name called love nodes because that's what we're going to be generating today. Okay, now let's add a node. There are hundreds of pre-built nodes, but today we're going to use the OpenAI text generation one, which will allow us to create the text that will be used for speech conversion later. Now, there are a few fields that you need to fill up with values. First is the OpenAI API key, which you can easily get from OpenAI and add it in the secret manager here. I already have one, so let me use that. Next, you need to add a prompt that will be used for text generation. You can just type a prompt or use the one that is incoming in your request, which is more meaningful. You can go to the variables, look at the request and the parameter and add the prompt as an input for this field. Next, you can add a system prompt to standardize what type of output this node generates. We are generating love nodes based on the prompt. So let's add that. Write a love node for 10 lines and that will be our system prompt. Rest of the fields you can tweak and optimize. Let's leave it as it is. Now the exciting new API that launched by OpenAI, text-to-speech, we want to add that. Obviously, it's not available in our ecosystem of nodes yet, but that's the good thing. You don't have to wait on us to create a node. You can use AI-generated nodes and create one yourself and rapidly ship things as new models launch every day. So let's go and do generate with AI and you can simply copy paste the value of this code snippet into the node generator. Say that given a model and an input and a voice, give me an output based on this code snippet and also take in the API key as the input value. Now it takes about a minute to generate your node and when it comes back, you have all the things that you simply need to provide and start using this API. So let's look at these values. First, API key, we already have that, so let's reuse that. The model and voice, you can use the ones that are there in the documentation. Let's use the sample one. And for the value of the input field, you can obviously type something, but you want to actually use the text that was generated in the previous OpenAI node. So let's actually select that from the variables and use that output. As you can see in the code of the previous node, the output here is a text. You can go into the code of each node and look at what's happening, make any changes you need, simply test and save it right there. As you can see, this node is returning a base64 string as a buffer. So you want that output to be saved to a file. Good thing is, BuildShip comes in handy with its own built-in storage, or you can use storage from Google Cloud, AWS, or any other storage platforms. Now, let's use the BuildShip storage here of uploading a base64 file. Let's use the value that was generated in the previous node, put that here, and that's it. You can give your file some name. Let's just call it speech. And you can use expression editor to randomize and attach things to it. But for now, let's just call it speech.mp3. Now, we need to return this file that got generated. And let's do that by selecting the variable uploaded file. And you can look at the uploaded files public URL as the output. Now, let's ship this. This gives you an API that you can use in any front-end applications or apps that you're building. So let's test it out. Let's add this in Hopscotch as a get API call. Let's give it a prompt of OpenAI Developer Conference and see what Love Notes is generating about that. Let's hit send. And what happens is that your workflow on BuildShip gets triggered. Step by step, it runs through things. It's generating the text for Love Note, then converting the text to speech, storing that to file storage, and coming back with the file URL. And if we open the file, let's see what love node got generated. Dear OpenAI Developer Conference, every conversation we shared, every line of code we wrote together felt like a dance of intellect and imagination. How fun is that? Now, if you go to the project storage, you're able to look at the file that each of your workflow generated. You can look at the logs and very easily we were able to use the exciting new AI model that launched in no-code style step-by-step step, assisted by AI, of course. 
And the best thing is you can now tweak it to further expand and build your logic. You can add branch node, parallel node. You can email the generated file using third-party tools like SendGrid and Recent. There is absolutely no limit to what you can build with Buildship. This template is available along with a bunch of other templates here for you to explore. And we would love to see what you build. See you in the next one.